Well, believe it or not, the time to head back to school is just around the corner. Unbelievable, and this means now is a good time to start scheduling those sports, physicals, and immunization appointments. And new this morning, Emily Madallin is live after spending an afternoon at Sanford Health to find out just why these appointments are so important. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Tim and Alicia. Because of immunization, certain kinds of diseases that may be spread in schools have become very uncommon. Sometimes this causes the misconception that students no longer need to be protected against these diseases. But I spoke with a pediatrician who says that's not at all the case. I stay up on the vaccinations to protect my children. There are three main vaccinations recommended for students 11 and over who are headed back to school. The vaccines that we recommend before going into sixth grade are your Menactro, which is the one that protects against meningitis, um, as well as your tetanus and whooping cough booster. And then the other one is the Gardasil or the HPV vaccination. She says these diseases may not be common, but they can be deadly. So the trip to the doctor is worth it. So it's important to get the vaccines before your child is around um, smaller enclosed areas and around a group of children that may spread other illnesses. She says one tough part about the appointments is, of course, the shots. And parents should give their kids a heads up beforehand. So I tell my kids and try to prepare them for shots. And we, you know, I tell them it's going to hurt a little bit. It's going to be a little sting. But we get two little owies so that we don't have big owies. Dr. De Silva here at Sanford Children's Clinic says many students, depending on the grade, need both a sports physical and school immunizations. She said schedule them both at the same time and you'll be out of here in less than an hour. Sports physicals are now required annually, and De Silva says this is so doctors can keep an extra close eye on patterns in family history. Um, and I have had families where I've picked up that history and there has been an underlying um, cardiac arrhythmia problem. And those are the kids that you worry about that die on the field. Both women say putting your kids health first should be top priority before heading back to the classroom every year. In some years too, you always want to get your heart rechecked to make sure that nothing is new or developing. I would say if they're not allergic to them, then to get them. And along with a doctor's visit, De Silva recommends getting your kids back into a bedtime routine right about now. Uh, all these things combined will be a good way to prepare for another school year. It's hard to believe we're already there. Again. You know, when I was a kid, I used to think it should be illegal to talk about school starting before, mm -hmm. I don't know, August 10th. I think but you're right. <laughs> Those signs that are up all over the mall, they've been up for about right. a month now. Come I'm on. like, are you it's kidding? Crazy. Come on. Every yeah. kid would argue. Exactly. Good, uh, good advice, though, there. Emily.